Good afternoon, this is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, January the 26th, 2011. It's Year 1, Epiphany 3, and Week 3 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 49, Mark chapter 6, verse 13 to 29, and the Song of Moses, Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 through 6, 11 through 13, and 17 and 18. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God will ransom my soul. From the power of death, God will snatch me. Alleluia. Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples, give heed, all who dwell in the world, people high and low, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable, and with the harp I will solve my problem. <clears throat> Why should I fear in evil days the malice of foes who surround me, people who trust in their wealth and boast the vastness of their riches? For the rich cannot buy their own ransom, nor pay a price to God for their lives. The ransom of their souls is beyond them. They cannot buy endless life, nor avoid coming to the grave. They know that both wise and foolish perish and must leave their wealth to others. Their graves as their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age. Though their names spread wide through the land, in their riches people lack wisdom. They are like beasts that are destroyed. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom my soul, from the power of death God will snatch me. Then do not fear when others grow rich, when the glory of their house increases. They take nothing with them when they die, and their glory does not follow them below. Though they flattered themselves while they lived, they will praise me for doing well for myself. Yet they will go to join their forebears and will never see the light anymore. In their riches people lack wisdom. They are like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. But God will ransom my soul. From the power of death, God will snatch me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel, according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 14. Meanwhile, Herod, the king of Judea, had heard about Jesus, whose reputation had become widespread. Some were saying John the baptizer has been raised from the dead, and that is why such miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said he is Elijah, and still others he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. And when Herod heard of Jesus, he exclaimed, John, whom I beheaded, has risen from the dead. Now it was Herod who had ordered John arrested, chained, and imprisoned, on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom Herod had married. For John had told Herod, It is against the law for you to have your brother's wife. As for Herodias, she was furious with John and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be good and holy, and kept him in custody. When Herod heard John speak, he was very much disturbed, yet he was moved by John's words. Herodias had her chance one day when Herod, on his birthday, held a dinner for the court circle, military officers, and the leaders of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, this delighted Herod, 
and the guest so much that he told the young woman, Ask me anything you like, and I will give it. And Herod swore an oath, I will give you anything you ask, even half my entire realm. And she went out to, and asked her mother, What should I ask for? And Herodias replied, The head of John the baptizer. The woman hurried back to Herod and made her request. I want you to give me the head of John the baptizer on a platter. Herod was deeply distressed by this request. But remembering the oath he swore before the guests, he was reluctant to break his oath to her. So Herod immediately sent one of the bodyguards with others to bring John's head. And the guard begot, beheaded John in prison, and brought the head in on a platter and gave it to the young woman, who gave it to her mother. And when John's disciples heard about this, they came and took the body away and laid it in a tomb. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and John and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! You are my strength and my might, and you have become my salvation. Alleluia! The Song of Moses. I sing to you, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider, you have cast into the sea. You are my strength and my might, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My Father's God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior. Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's chariots and Pharaoh's army cast into the sea. His picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, glorious in power, your right hand shattered the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. In your steadfast love you led the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength to your holy abode. You brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own possession, the place that you made your abode, the sanctuary that your hands have established. You will reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all be, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are my strength and my might, and you have become my salvation. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>